I don't necessarily have resentment yeah. for companies that are trying to protect themselves. I, you have that right as a company. I disagree because I don't think it is the protection that you want. I think the ultimate protection is putting out great content well, that people right. love. Right, exactly. exactly. Yeah. That's how you develop the moat. But I think it's very easy to just go like, Fuck you guys, you guys want to censor, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, I get it. You have a family, you have kids in private school. You don't want that maybe responsibility of putting out the thing that got your company in trouble, yada, yada, yada. So I don't have personal resentment. It was frustrating. So basically, long story short, what I did is... uh. I bought the special back and, I, and I, they could have said no to this, but I was able to buy the special back, which is I'm very grateful for. And I put it up on uh, my own, uh, I put it up on Moment. Moment is this platform where you can you know, stream content. So basically pay for people to buy a ticket to watch the show and then own it in perpetuity. So I first did a window there, kind of like a movie, right? Like you go see Batman in the movie theater. That's how I was thinking about it. You go see Batman in movie theater. It's there in the movie theater for a couple months. And then a few months after that, it's on cable. So I was like, let me try this for comedy. I put it up here and, you know, fingers crossed. And it does unbelievably well. And I made way more than I would ever make on the special itself. It was the most money I've ever made in my life, to be mm. honest with you. And, and that was Moment. It was on, with Moment, yeah. So like Moment, uh, it, yeah, Moment World is now, but it was Moment House when I did it. But Moment, it's just a great company. They've been doing these live stream events. They do it for bands. They do it for com comedians. And I'm hoping that this is another pathway for comics to put their content out and have a window where they can monetize it. I mean, the beautiful thing about putting your stuff out on YouTube is it goes to the world. But you're not able to monetize it in the same way. And in order to create a special like the one that we created, I mean, it costs $400,000 to shoot the special. Right, so right. you have to be able to generate money to do something that can compete with a, a Netflix, compete with a, any of these other, an HBO, any of these platforms. I want to be able to create that content and put it out there. So we put it behind this window and people came out, they supported it, it was amazing. And then a few months later, I put it out on YouTube. Yeah. And... That, I think we're at 8 million views in a month or something like that. So now I get all the new people, all the people who weren't familiar with me, all the people that didn't know who I existed and their friends can share it. But I was also able to give it to the to the, the, the fans who really have rode for me from the beginning and give them this experience. Also, the YouTube version, I put uh, some ads in. Yeah, I yeah, ad yeah. I watched, it, I watched it this morning. Well, what did yeah. you charge for the special on Moment? Uh, 15 bucks. And how long did you have it up there before you switched it to YouTube? I did two two week windows. So I just did two weeks and then so many people are asking for it that I put it back up for another two weeks a week later. And why did you and decide then, on those time periods? I wanted to create urgency. I think I think one of the issues oh. with just having, you know, like it up is oh, I'll get to it. And I think that's one of the problems with content in general. Like I think yeah, I think I think uh, you know there, there's this idea with it streaming. You're, oh, I'll get to it. I'll yeah. get to it, and then you never get to it. And there's just so much that you have to get to. And I think that if you create urgency, like a boxing match, is we have to watch this tonight. An MMA fight, we have to watch this. A sporting event, we have to. So knowing that there's this two week window where you could watch it with no ads, and this was the way it was going to be. You know, also there was no telling when I put it on YouTube if they weren't going to take it down. So like this was the only time that you were 100% sure that you could watch it in its entirety. And um, it also created this time where like everybody, well, not everybody, but a lot of people watched it at the same time. Right, right, So we right. had a live viewing. And right. it created this communal feeling, which we want. Like I love watching House of Dragons, you know, the Game of Thrones uh, reboot. The, uh, I love watching it on Sunday with everybody else and then going on Twitter and seeing how people are reacting to it and taking part in this massive group experiment and hearing their live real-time reactions. To me, this is awesome. So I wanted to create that for a comedy special. And um, it was awesome. We were able to do it, man. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll have to look into Moment. That sounds extremely interesting. And then you I'll said- I'll connect you, you with them. Okay, okay, good, you, good. You doing, you doing one of your lectures, for example, on Moment, like creating this moment, having this moment for all these people to all check in at the exact same time. And they've got some other really cool features too. Like you can sell merch while you're watching it. Like there are all these different things that are like easy to, to access. People can comment real time on it, which is also cool. But like having this place where all these people who want to experience this thing with you, be it live or pre-recorded, but before it goes out to the world and um, 
people want to support. That's another thing I learned. Like I've given out so many hours of comedy. I've given, there's so many people that hit me up and they're like, listen, like you've made me laugh with really, through really dark times for years. Like there are people when I put it up on YouTube started donating money. I didn't even know that that was a thing that you could do, but they right. felt guilty that yeah, they didn't well, you buy know, well, it that's in the first the thing window. Is, mo people, don't, people don't really want something valuable for nothing. They want to contribute their part, generally speaking. That's, that's why giving away things for free in some real sense is a bad pricing decision. And so, because it does, it does deprive people of the opportunity to reciprocate and they want to yeah. be able to reciprocate. Yeah.